Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie Hyacinth. I am the Director of Corporate and Foundation Relations at Macaulay Honors College at CUNY. I am so delighted to welcome you to our family's event for the class of 2028. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am coming to you live from West 67th Street here in Manhattan, steps away from Central Park at our Macaulay home campus. And um, I am so happy that you could join us. You're going to hear from our senior administrators. You're going to hear from the people who work to bring your students the Macaulay experience, as well as a parent and a current student. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Macaulay's fifth dean, Dean Dara Byrne. Um, she is most recently nominated to the American Association for Colleges and Universities. She's also been honored with a City and State Trailblazer Award in Higher Education. And I'm so super thrilled that you could meet her tonight. So take it away, Dara. Hello, parents. Thank you so much for joining us. And I should say parents and caregivers, because we know that so many of our students are richly supported by a range of people in their family and in their community. So welcome to you all. My name is Dara Byrne. And again, I'm the Dean of Macaulay Honors College, and it is an absolute privilege to serve your students. We are super excited to have welcomed 520 incredible students from across primarily New York City. And we are delighted that you would trust us to not only deliver a stellar educational experience, but to collaborate with your students, our network of staff, our faculty, our advisors, to build exactly the kind of community where your students belong. You know, one of the things that I often hear from people about Macaulay is that my students are so lucky because everything at Macaulay is free. And uh, in fact, some of you might have even encouraged your child or your family member to apply to Macaulay because of our tuition scholarship. But I prefer to say that Macaulay is not actually free. Macaulay is more like a gift. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I say Macaulay is not free. Macaulay is a gift. Um, all meaningful gifts come with a story, a history, and a responsibility. Usually, a gift is something that's purchased by somebody else or made by somebody else that is gifted on to another person. Macaulay is no different. The gifts such as the scholarships we provide, the grants we provide, these are all funded through private partners or New York City taxpayers just like you who have so generously contributed to the way that our college works. Um, it's through... Uh, really, generosity, hard work, the sacrifices of others, particularly the students who came before your students, the faculty and staff who dedicate themselves to teaching um, our incredible students, and the network of donors who believe in their potential. Every single person who is part of the Macaulay Network has gifted something here. And these investments have actually helped to um, uh, guarantee that your students will have an exciting experience. And we believe that that kind of um, trust, that ability to uh, call on a network of people to pay it forward is what makes Macaulay um, just such a, a stellar example of what is meant by the gift economy. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that term, but in the concept of a gift economy, what uh, theorists tend to say is that a gift is never truly free. In fact, when you receive a gift, it, it creates a relationship, it creates a bond built on the understanding that you, in a way, are giving something back. Not necessarily to the person who gave you the gift in the first place, but to um, someone else or to the broader community. Um, and I'd like to think that that's one of the things that uh, you find about the Macaulay spirit, what it means to be part of the Macaulay community. We're here because of the gifts of others, and those who participate in the community pass those gifts along.
In fact, if you were to ask me, what is it that you think that you can do to help your student be successful at Macaulay? The first thing that I would say is please support them in taking advantage of the gifts that we have received. People have helped us to build up um, an incredible resource pool, um, so much so that um, in the last year, we have spent a little over two and a half million dollars in scholarships that have taken students to do study abroad, research opportunities, internships, two point two and a half million dollars. That is incredible. That's so generous. And every penny of it goes towards supporting students. But I can't get more of those resources to help students the year after this. If your students don't apply, don't make use of it, don't um, uh, demonstrate to the people who support us that every single penny makes a difference. Our funders, our participants, they believe in your students. They believe in their tran the transformational potential of all of these opportunities. And we expect that everyone will take advantage of everything that we have to offer. In fact, throughout the evening, you're going to hear from everyone from academic affairs, to uh, student services and our advisement team, our wellness team, that are going to talk to you about all of the ways that they are going to support your students from um, free services all the way through to exciting curriculum. But we do need your students to participate. Um, we do our part to make sure that there is a, a lot for them to participate in, but um, what we find is that uh, it, it is an ongoing effort to make sure we reach everybody and to make sure that everyone feels like they belong. And we really could use your partnership in that particular effort. Macaulay is not just an academic community. We are a full, well-rounded, nurturing community. And we care about the experience of your student inside and outside of the classroom. It's actually uh, quite exciting when I think about all of the services and activities and the opportunities that we provide that are all there with your learner in mind. Again, not just because of the academic success that they're going to have, but what it means to uh, develop and support a well-rounded person who can thrive, not just at Macaulay, but in the life after this. Now we know that many of your students have really ambitious goals in mind. They might wanna to go to medical school, they might wanna to go to law school, um, and they might wanna become researchers. Some of them have dreams that no one in your family has ever done before. And I'm gonna tell you this, we believe in them. We believe in them, we know that they can do it. But it does matter how they get there. So it's not just that they have sacrificed everything in order to reach a goal. Um, we prefer that that's not actually what happens in the academic journey. We want to make sure that we have done everything that we can in the four years that we are partnering with your student to ensure that they are also strong and healthy and resilient. Again, the whole person. And I'm proud to lead a college that's not only the top honors college in the country, but the kind of honors college that cares about every single person that comes through our door. But you don't have to take it from me. I get to deliver that message. But tonight, you're going to hear it from many, many voices. Believe our students when they tell you about all of the dreams and the goals that they have and the rich ways that they partner with Macaulay, with their advisors and take advantage of the opportunities in order to get there. 
So that's enough about me and what I think about uh, what we're going to be doing together over the next four years. I'm going to turn it back over to Stephanie to uh, introduce our provost and chief academic officer and the, rem the remaining members of our panel so that you can hear more about all of the ways that we are going to walk this journey of success with your student. Thank you so much again for being here and for trusting us. Thank you so much, Dara. Welcome everyone. I see that so many people have joined. Thank you so much. Um, it's now my pleasure to introduce our provost, Dr. Roblin Meeks, uh, to tell you a little bit about the school part of the school, as he says. <laughs> yes, good evening, everyone. Hi, I'm Roblin Meeks. I'm the Senior Associate Dean and Chief Academic Officer here at Macaulay, also known as the Provost, which is a word that most people don't know. One of the first questions I love to ask students when I meet them, and I did this at orientation, is to say, do you know what a Provost is? Of course, they don't. I mean, who does? It's it's one of these, these uh, weird words. But the way I like to describe it is, of course, I'm the one who is in charge of the school part of the school. Uh, and I'm extremely privileged and proud to be the provost of Macaulay. I, I have a long CUNY bio. I've been in academic leadership positions at Hunter College, at John Jay College, also was leadership positions at Fordham University, and I've taught at Harvard and Princeton. And uh, Macaulay is the place that I am the proudest to be associated with, and, and I'm so excited to be thinking about the kind of education that we can provide students like yours. Is one of the greatest things about Macaulay is that it draws uh, driven and committed students of purpose. And so our challenge is to create the conditions in the community that can help them embody that purpose and equip them to be successful in acting out that purpose. So we spend a lot of time thinking about not just what are the disciplinary and academic tools and experiences that they have to get that degree in chemistry, get that degree in English, history, or my own uh, academic backgrounds in philosophy, but it's how can we set them up to be thoughtful and powerful agents of change that are purpose-driven and can communicate that purpose meaningfully to the world. So you've, you're probably a little bit familiar with our curriculum, but the way that Macaulay works is that we have four foundational seminars that students take in their first two years, their first four semesters. And we call these the New York City seminars. And that's because they are in sequence, the, the arts of New York, followed by the people of New York, then Science Forward or the ecology of New York, and then the future of New York. And these seminars provide a wonderful foundation for your students to learn about the major challenges that New York City is confronting, but also kind of understand and think about what it means to have a vibrant New York City and how students who graduate from Macaulay can then be equipped to go on and take up these grand challenges for the city and the region and make a vibrant community for all of us. Also key to Macaulay's curriculum and our way we think about education here is a really engaged learning curriculum. This is, this is um, a, a cornerstone of honors education is that the learning doesn't just happen in the classroom. It goes beyond the classroom and our faculty, both on the campuses and our central faculty take students out into New York City. So we have key common events that go with our seminars. The first one's coming up on, or we just had the first one, which is BioBlitz, where we had students out into Van Cortlandt Park this year collecting data. Uh, I, I went with a group of students who got out and waded into the lake to measure fish. And the data that they collect, they both use in their class, but also we give to the New York Parks Department. So it's also important that we see that we are embedded into the city and the, the education that they receive prepares them for the city, but gives back to the city even as they're doing it. But on October 15th, we have Night at the Museum. That's where the students go to Brooklyn Museum. We close down Brooklyn Museum and they get the run of the place for a few hours in the e evening. 
We get to discuss about why these institutions are important, why they need to participate in them. And then we turn them loose to converse with each other, to learn with each other, and to really think about how differing communities across uh, across New York, but across the globe, how differing communities express themselves through creative uh, energies. So it's it's really a cornerstone that this is New York New York based curriculum that's engaged learning that really takes the students beyond the classroom and teaches them to take what they have learned in their classroom and apply it beyond. The other thing that we're we're really focused on doing is we want to position Macaulay students for leadership positions and to launch them into successful, impactful, and fulfilling lives. And so we spend a lot of time thinking about how we can connect them with the next step. We have a variety of, for example, four plus one accelerated programs that allow your students, while they're still Macaulay students and receiving the Macaulay tuition waiver, that they can start a graduate education. They can start a master's in public health, or a master's in journalism, lots of different possibilities. But we see that as, as important to what we're doing is we're, we are a, a trajectory um, that students of purpose come through, they get this good academic foundation, this good engaged learning, and then off they go. We launch them into the world, into New York, to make a more vibrant city for us all. So again, we're extremely excited to have your students here and we are constantly humbled by students. Our favorite thing to do is to go to the campuses and talk to students and hear what they have to say. They always have excellent suggestions, which again makes my job easier, but um, we're so pleased to have your students here. And what I would encourage you to whisper in their ears is that this is a very special time for them and that they need to be engaged, do take advantage of the opportunities that we have for them. Help us shape Macaulay. This Macaulay, the, the fundamental thing about Macaulay and its education is that it is an intellectual and academic community. And it's by participating in this community that they make Macaulay what it is. Again, thanks for coming. Happy to answer any questions. And I will turn it back over to Stephanie. Thank you so much, Roblin. It's my pleasure to now introduce our Interim Associate Dean for Student Services and Engagement, Curtis Hoover. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Curtis Hoover, and I serve as the Interim Associate Dean for Student Services and Engagement at Macaulay. In that role, I oversee many of the student-facing areas that are non-academic at the college. Those include student development, which oversees new student orientation and weeks of welcome, but also houses our student clubs and organizations. Career development, which assists students in finding internship and career opportunities and being career ready. Career development is also the home to the CUNY Honors Business Hub. Uh, the Office of Scholarships and Grants, which manages the tuition scholarships and the Opportunities Fund. Enrollment management, which oversees the recruitment and admissions process for the incoming students. Uh, the Mental Health and Wellness Center, and you're gonna hear from a member of that staff in a few minutes. The Collaborative Wellness Project and Macaulay Restorative Practice. The final two areas are a little less exciting for me to talk about, but no less important to our college community, and that's the areas of student conduct and Title IX or sex-based misconduct. So tonight for parents and families, I want to highlight three areas. Um, I see our relationship as being very much a partnership, where together we strive to have each student be successful during their academic journey. First area is student engagement, with, which Roblin just mentioned a moment ago. But student engagement in a college experience is extremely important. Students learn really valuable lessons in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom through experiential learning opportunities and involvement in leadership in student clubs and programs. Talk to your student about their involvement and what they're doing outside of the class. Uh, if they're not involved, you know, please partner with us and encourage them to attend events and programs on campus and at least join one student club, whether that's at Macaulay Central or on their uh, senior college. We know engagement leads to successful student outcomes in college completion. The second area, um, some of your students at some point in college may struggle academically, emotionally, physically, socially. Uh, we care about the success of each Macaulay student. If your student is struggling, we do have counseling services available at Macaulay Central, but also there are counseling services available on their senior campus. And these services are free. You'll be hearing more about those services from a member of the wellness team in a few minutes. Um, I also wanna talk about our student support team. 
they're ready to intervene and assist students who are struggling. And we know many of our students live at home with you. So please, again, partner with us. If, if, um, if you're identifying your student is struggling in, in one of the ways I mentioned, academically, socially, et cetera, and you'd like someone at the college to, to intervene and reach out, parents and family members can complete the student support team referral form. If you do, someone on our team will reach out directly to your student and assist them with finding appropriate resources and support. And my final point, all CUNY students and actually all CUNY community members are responsible for abiding by the Henderson Rules of Conduct. We introduced those Henderson Rules of Conduct to your students at orientation. Um, as a community of honor scholars, student concerns around conduct tend to be less frequent. However, it's still very important that all students understand their rights and responsibilities. Thank you so much for your time tonight. I look forward to connecting with many of you in the future. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Curtis. It's my pleasure to introduce my colleague, uh, Candace Barnes, to say a few words about the work we do together in the Office of Advancement. Welcome to Parents Night, everyone. We are thrilled to have you here as we celebrate the beginning of this exciting journey for your students at Macaulay Honors College. Greetings from the advancement team. Shout out to Charmaine, as well as Stephanie, who just spoke, and my team who coordinated this great event for you all. I'm the VP of Advancement, and our primary role is to fundraise and provide resources to support Macaulay students. Your involvement is crucial in helping us provide exceptional education experiences for your students. How can you get involved? Feel free to connect us with companies to support our career fairs, workforce development opportunities like in internships and research, research assistantships. Also, connect us, connect us with companies to support sponsorship for Macaulay events. Make sure you join the newsletter to be informed of all things Macaulay. Tonight is a wonderful opportunity to connect with faculty, staff, and fellow parents. Together, we can shape a bright future for the class of 2028. Thank you for being here and choosing Macaulay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Candace. And now it's my pleasure. We're going to start the panel presentations and talk about the Macaulay experience. And I cannot think of a better person to lead us off than Shivani Ramsaran, class of 2025, a BA and an MA student at City College. I am so thrilled to introduce her, Shivani. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to be here. Thank you all so much for coming. My name is Shivani. I'm a senior at the City College of New York, majoring in psychology and minoring in public policy on the BA ME track. I'm also the vice president of campus affairs on the Macaulay Scholars Council. For those of you who do not know, that is our student government. I'm also the co-president of Macaulay Queer Alliance, a current peer mentor and orientation leader and a member of our psychology club, the Macaulay Mind. Um, so I definitely sound very involved, and I am, and the reason for that is that I just love our Macaulay community. I love the people that I've met, the opportunities that I've had to meet other students from other campuses, getting to connect with career development, with student development, just all the different resources that Macaulay has to offer. I'm just so grateful that I have them here and that they are a resource for me to reach out to whenever I need help. Um, also, I do work at City College, although I'm not as involved there as I am over here. And I think just in general, my overall Macaulay experience has been wonderful. I've, like I've said before, I've had the opportunity to meet so many people, but I've also been given two internships that I'm very grateful for. I recently interned this summer at the Department of City Planning through Macaulay's City Designed Internship Program, which was designed to get people who aren't typically in involved in like architecture and urban planning into that field so that we get more diverse voices into our city planning. I've also interned over at Baruch College in their National Science Foundation Psychology Lab to do more psychology research to further my education there. But like I've said, overall, my experience has been great. Macaulay offers so many resources, so many great experiences for your children to take advantage of, and I truly would not trade my experience for anything else in the world. Um, I would also like to talk a little bit about the other opportunities that Macaulay offers, like our Opportunities Fund. This is something that I just actually finished applying for earlier on Monday. Um, it, this is a grant that can help you with fund uh, unpaid internship, a research experience, or study abroad. 
Um, I'm currently applied for a study abroad program, and I'm so grateful to have that funding to support me because otherwise I would just not be able to afford the study abroad opportunity. And I think it's so important for people to have the chance to get out of the country and to experience a culture outside of America or outside of their own. I think it's just super important to have that cultural awareness. So thank you all so much for being here. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shivani. Wonderful. It is my pleasure to introduce Kathy Munay, who is going to tell you a little bit about academic advising. Super important. Thank you, Stephanie. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Kathy Munet, and I'm the Director of Academic Advisement at Macaulay. I'm excited to share important information about our advisement services and how they can support your students' academic journey. At Macaulay, we understand that navigating college can be both exciting and challenging for students. Our advisement team is here to provide guidance, perspective, and support, ensuring that your student makes the most of their college experience. So how do we do this? Well, advisors do this by providing four key services. One, they provide integrated, holistic, and continuous academic advising. Macaulay students are partnered with a professional advisor right from the start who will help students create personalized academic plans, ensuring they meet their degree requirements and stay on track for graduation. Two, they assist with course selection. Advisors assist with selecting courses that align with students' interests and career goals, helping them make informed decisions each and every semester. Along the way, advisors also help to interpret institutional policies, procedures, and requirements, making sure students are aware of important dates and deadlines. Three, they identify student support resources and provide referrals. To help address their diverse needs, we connect students with various support resources on campus, such as tutoring services, mental health support, and career services. And finally, they encourage exploration and engagement outside of the classroom. Advisors help students increase awareness of educational opportunities, such as study abroad, internships, research, and community service learning, all of which helps to enrich their overall college experience, as well as help to prepare them for postgraduate life. Participation in student clubs, common events, and other academic development programs are also highly encouraged. So how can you help? We believe that parents play a vital role in their student's success. Here are a few ways you can support your student. Encourage open communication. Remind your student to reach out to their advisor with any questions or concerns. We're here to help. Help identify study spaces. Study areas that are readily available, comfortable, free from distractions, and meet today's technology needs are critical to supporting academic success. Luckily, there are many spaces at both the home campus and at Macaulay Central that fit this bill. Stay informed. Take advantage of the wealth of information readily available on Macaulay's website and encourage your students to do the same. And finally, Foster independence. While it's natural to want to help encourage your student to take the lead in their academic journey, this independence will serve them well in the long run. Thank you for your time this evening and for supporting your student's educational journey. We're here to help and support you and your student. Thank you. Kathy, thank you so very much. Thank you. And I think it's so important that you're going to want to hear from Janina Chrisman, who is our associate our Director of Career Development, and to hear about how we assist your students today and in the future. Take it away, Gia. Good evening. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, and thank you to everyone else who has mentioned careers at some point in their conversation. My work is done. Um, just kidding. Um, so thank you all so much for being here. Um, I am extremely lucky to work with a, a fantastic team that cares so deeply about students um, and that are also knowledgeable about career development. Um, with students' dual identity um, and the double resources that exist between their home campus 
campus and Macaulay, um, I feel like we have every possible um, aspect of their career development covered. I have amazing colleagues at the home campuses who care deeply about students as well. Um, and I often encourage students to take advantage of that dual identity and those double resources. For Macaulay, however, our main function, I believe, is, you know, in developing those um, relationships with employers, right? One of the biggest things that we hear from students is this, you know, um, worry that once they graduate, they won't be able to find something. And I think that has a lot to do with just, um, you know, their approach to it. Um, a lot of our students have imposter syndrome, even though they're incredibly bright um, and capable. And so a lot of our work is in making sure that they feel confident, empowered, um, and capable of taking that next step in their career um, advancement. And so we do that by providing them with a bunch of services, right? We try not to duplicate what's happening on the home campus, but take that to the next level, a higher you know, um, level conversation with students. For example, we have, um, you know, workshops that cover negotiating salaries, um, you know, figuring out how to speak to management once you do start your internship or your job. Um, not to mention that we also offer lifetime services for alumni. So that way we're with your students, um, with your children, actually, um, every step of the way in their career um, plans. Um, so through our career coaching, our different types of programming, our workshops, the career fairs that we put on, as well as our case competitions and our job board that we have available to students, we're out there not just preparing them, but developing these relationships with employers that need to be here and need to see the incredible talent um, that these students possess. So just to mention some, some quick programs that we have, we have the CUNY Honors Business Hub and as Curtis mentioned, that's on a focus um, to make sure that students understand and explore the different areas within business, finance, right, and including tech. Um, we have a Macaulay Research Assistantship Program where we encourage our students to do research with a CUNY faculty member across any of the CUNY um, schools, as well as specific internship programs that we run, like the National Memorial 9-11 Museum, um, the hospitals for special surgery, the Legal Aid Society, and as Shivani mentioned, the city design internship that we run every summer. Um, we have an incredible list of um, employers that come on campus and have been very, very lucky to leverage not only our relationships with employers, but our alumni that come back um, and share these opportunities with our students. But just to mention a few, um, we have Bank of America that comes on campus, Barclays, Bloomberg, BNP Paribas, um, Brookhaven National Laboratory, um, Dwight Capital, Glamour Gals. So we do have a mix of nonprofits, corporations, hospitals. Um, I'll mention Hospital for Special Surgery again, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, New York City Department of Citywide Administrative Services, because we do find that a lot of our students go on to work for New York City agencies, as well as um, Pfizer, right? Summit Health City, MD, uh, the Legal Aid Society, as I mentioned before. We do a visit to TikTok um, offices every semester, as well as have some of our graduate programs come to our career fairs. Uh, we have a bunch of employers. That's just a small uh, sampling, but we have about 5,649 total employers on our handshake system, which can be a little bit overwhelming at times. Um, but again, just wanted to mention, we are with your students every step of the way. And so we make sure that they know how to navigate the system, how to navigate right the workplace, as well as get connected to not only mentors, professionals, recruiters, etc., so that they really have the best possible chance of succeeding in the future. Um, just a small shameless plug, if any of the parents here tonight have a job opportunity available, please make sure to contact me. We love learning about different um, 
companies and organizations that, you know, have a really positive atmosphere that we want to send our students to. So please let me know if you have any such opportunities. I'm always available to speak to anyone um, about our recruiting process, et cetera. Thank you so much, Charmaine, for putting my email in the chat. Um, so it's a pleasure to meet everyone. I hope that you encourage your students to come and speak to our team, um, to speak to me as well. Um, and I'm wishing them the very best as they begin their co a collegiate career. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Shia. That was fantastic. Um, I am so pleased to have our Associate Director of Clinical Services, Doreen Ng, here to tell you a little bit about what we do. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Doreen, and I'm the Associate Director of Clinical Services here at Macaulay at our Wellness Center. Um, I'm also a licensed clinical social worker. Um, so what we do here at Macaulay is we offer students an opportunity to receive free confidential counseling. So you may have heard that they do offer this at their home campus as well, but here at Macaulay, we primarily serve the Macaulay students because we know that wellness is something that is really important to all of CUNY, but especially for our Macaulay students because they're you know, dealing with a lot of requirements, a lot of stressors, like my colleague mentioned imposter syndrome, right? They're adjusting to a new period in their life right now. And we at the Wellness Center are here to help support your students in that way. So by free, we mean we don't take insurance, we don't take any payment, we are here purely as a support whenever they need us throughout their four years. So even if we don't see students um, their first year, sometimes throughout their time here at Macaulay with Kinney, they will reach out to us. And we are here to help them throughout that process to whatever they're stressed with. So sometimes it can be conflict with friends or even family members, or sometimes it's stressors with time management and figure out how to organize their schedule. We are definitely here for that too. We tell students no problem is too small or too big that we can't meet with you to figure out what's going on. So some students may say, well, I don't think it's, it's worth talking about. But we have to tell students if there's that slight feeling that you feel like you want to talk to someone or that you need to sort things out that have been kind of on your mind, then please reach out to the Wellness Center here. Um, so we offer uh, weekly or every other week counseling for students. So another really important thing for our wellness center is making sure that things are accessible to students. And we definitely work with where they're at. So sometimes students will meet with us weekly or because of schedule or challenges, they'll meet, up, meet with us every other week. And we're also here at the Macaulay building or we can meet with them online as well too. So we definitely meet students with what they need and where they're at. Cause we wanna make sure that you know they can come and that we are able here to help them as well. Um, so something else to note too that you know, students can reach us through email or they can call us too to make an appointment. Um, and I tell students oftentimes you could just Google Macaulay Wellness Center and then we will come up and there's definitely an email that you'll get later to kind of know where to reach us. Um, if you have a concern, you can definitely reach out and let us know too. And we can be a source of support in terms of helping you walk through that steps with your students too. So definitely we are here for your students, but we're also here for you too. Um, definitely in my past experience, parents have reached out because they're not sure how to navigate this new time in their child's life. And they can need that kind of like help too with figuring out what to do next or how to help them. We're definitely here for you as well too, if you need to reach out to us. Um, definitely our students are, are like, you know, primary concern, but we always want to meet them where they're at and what they feel comfortable with. So one thing I do want to mention is that we don't diagnose or we don't have anything on their academic record it is truly confidential. I tell students that, you know, the information you give us is totally separate and we keep for ourselves and my counseling staff so that students can feel comfortable coming in and meeting with us to talk about things that are on their mind. So we welcome students throughout their four years to always reach out to us. We're open Monday through Fridays. Um, during business hours, and we definitely don't have a wait time. Um, usually when students email us, we are able to usually set appointments th that same week or the following week, week as well too. So that's one great perk about being a McCoy student is that because they're, we serve a particular population, there are less students compared to a bigger CUNY school. They definitely get more flexibility in being able to find a counselor right away to talk about things with. And we are very flexible in terms of meeting them where they're at again. Um, you know, something, an advice I would like to give to parents is to be, be patient with yourself and for your students too, to be patient with themselves too. It's definitely an adjustment period right now where, you know, it's probably the first time that they're writing exams or writing papers or first time maybe getting a job or first time talking to a professor where they have to advocate from themselves, right? It's definitely a time to continue learning and being open to making those mistakes and being kind about that as well too, right? 
you know, as we remember, when we ever do are doing something for the first time, we're not sure what to do, right? And it's okay to stumble a little bit, but know that those feelings, those confusions and challenges are temporary. And that, you know, like many of our students, they do eventually gain confidence and they will eventually be comfortable with what they wanna do and where they're going. So please at any time, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email us at the Wellness Center, contact us or encourage your students to as well too. Thank you so much. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Doreen. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce our parent speaker, um, Jack Amy, who I consider a Macaulay legacy family with a parent from the class of 2019, as well as a current parent for the class of 2025. Take it away, Jack. Thank you so much. Um, so yes, I have two, uh, two students that went through the Macaulay system. Uh, my daughter, Elian, who graduated and is now a lawyer, and my son David, who's now uh, who's now interviewing at medical schools, uh, which hopefully will be starting next year. Um, we love Macaulay. We were introduced to Macaulay through uh, through our the high school that my kids went to, Yeshiva Flatbush. Uh, they spoke very highly of the school and really recommended it. Uh, we we met with people. We we thought it was great. We heard great things, and uh, and we were right. We thought obviously the price of admission was perfect. Uh, but it was also, uh, it was very prestigious for kids to enter into a, into an honors college. And um, it wasn't just that it was a great college, you know, they're also part of a larger community, uh, of a local community. Uh, we thought that was great. So while they have all the benefits of being part, uh, part of an honors college, they also had all the amenities and all the benefits that come within the larger community. Uh one thing about kids is that they really step up to the role that you put them in. And uh, when you put them into an honors college like Macaulay, they, 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 really, they really step up. They, they understand what's expected of them and it changes their whole, uh, their whole demeanor and, uh, and they really perform as they're supposed to. Uh, today, uh, my family supports Macaulay in various different ways. And uh, it's because we're very thankful of the opportunity that Macaulay gave our kids. Uh, as Dean Burns said earlier, Macaulay is a gift that's given to us and to our kids. And we wanna make sure that that same gift is available to uh, to all of our incoming parents and to future uh, future years as well. Uh, it's, it's an amazing institution, amazing education, amazing privilege and opportunity for our kids. And uh, I think that we owe it to ourselves, to our children, and to the future generations to make sure it's available. So I encourage everybody to uh, to become part of Macaulay and to help in keeping it alive and strong. Um, I will say that you will not be disappointed. Macaulay is a fantastic place. Uh, the kids loved it. And uh, of course, it doesn't hurt to graduate free of debt and possibly with a couple of extra dollars in your pocket. So I recommend it highly, and I encourage everybody to learn more, attend, and become part of the family. Jack, thank you so very much. Excellent. And we are very excited to see you at commencement, if not before. It's going to happen soon. So if there are any questions, uh, I know that we've answered a couple of them already in the Q&A. Please feel free to put it in the chat, uh, not the chat, but the Q&A box. Um, and also you can happily write any of us and we will respond. Um, we're very excited to welcome your students, your, your, your children and to be part of this great community. And I will also say that uh, tonight, one of you lucky parents, I see it says like 107 people, one of you lucky parents will get your very own, hold on, your very own Macaulay hat part of a raffle uh so we will let you know when you win because we've got your email so if there are questions hold on i'm seeing let's see what i see lots of people wanting to sign up for the newsletter and that is excellent we will definitely sign you up yes miss Baldeo, we will do that so we will definitely sign you up because there is always something happening not only for your students at macaulay but the greater community whether it is a film that's being shown or an event like city nature challenge which brings people together in april to go out into the city and to catalog 
all of the, the different species that make up New York City, the community is invited to do a lot of these things. So please think about that and follow us on social at Macaulay Honors or visit us at our website at macaulay.cuny.edu. Um, and thank you all very much for being here. I love it. Lots of signups for the newsletter. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And with that, we're giving you 15 minutes back of your day. How do you like that? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it and have a great evening.